Hey, what up, guys? It's Sick, and we're gonna do the MQ2 Rogue video. Um, so, Rogue was the second chat with this name class plugin that came out after Berserker, and uh, I just haven't had a chance to do the Rogue video. Uh, <laughs> working on all these class plugins and uh, re rolling and moving tunes around and doing different server stuff and whatnot. It's just, uh, I'm sorry it's taken so long. Uh, but fortunately, this video should be pretty quick to kind of go over some of the stuff with MQ2 Rogue. And uh, we'll hop right into this. Give you a little wave here. Uh, so <laughs> I got old models on for whatever reason. Uh, this little rogue cracks me up with old models. Um, now this is a this is a newer tune, so it's not juiced by any means. It's only 110. It's free to play. It's missing a bunch of abilities. Um, it has some heroic gear. Blah blah blah. Um, I don't. Uh, this rogue I run in one of my power leveling groups. It's not something I run in my main uh, my main crew, so it doesn't get a whole lot of love. But it uh, it does just fine. Anyway, so we're gonna load the plugin for the first time. Plugin MQ2 Rogue load, and um, I obviously have the video that show that talks about the uh, UI window. If you've never loaded it for the first time, you got to do a reload UI and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'll put the link in that. Definitely watch that. All right, so we're gonna load it up, and uh, if you see, it spits out all the all the stuff here um, about uh, the plugin. So it spits out the ability uh, trees, basically the you know the ability types that we want and that we use with their levels, so we can see what ranks we have. You can see with this guy, I only have rank ones. I don't have any rank twos, and I'm missing a few abilities. I'm missing uh, Vexatious Puncture from Group Puncture, and uh, I'm missing Poisonous Covenant from uh, from my Alliance group. I still have the uh, the 103 one. This is because the Poisonous Covenant is the TBL Alliance, and this tune is free to play, so it's only up to ROS. Um, even though we are 110, that ability I can't buy uh, without that that expansion. Um, as with all the other uh, Chat With This Name class plugins, if I did a rogue missing, it would just re-spit out the stuff that I'm missing um, in case maybe I need to, I, I want to look them up and find out where to get them at or any of that kind of stuff. Um, but um, let's kind of, let's hop into this. So rogue mode zero, I'm going to move to sit with my group. Um, rogue mode one. Um, now I am going to... Mode five. I start pulling on my tank and uh, my rogue should start doing uh, rogue stuff as soon as we're fighting um, it's it's doing the rogue stuff as you uh, as you'd expect um, now I have I have it set on to use hide sneak so it's gonna do the hide sneak stuff using intimidation um, let's talk about some of the settings real quick so we have all the normal stuff where you're assisting. Um, if you're in raid mode, what raid assist you're assisting, when you auto assist at. With the chat with this name class plugins, um, it's fine to auto assist at 100. We're not going to go and chase the mob until it's in the camp and you know the the it's it's doing the stuff we expect it to do. Um, so you're not going to have bad results running at 100. I keep all of my dudes auto assisting at 100. Um, the 60 camp radius is out of the box camp radius setting. I normally keep uh, about 60, especially if we're outside. Like right now, I'm in an outside zone. Um, this is going to be your red circle you see on your map. Um, so any mobs that enter this that meet the other uh, other conditions, I'm going to start fighting them uh, right away. So we have the normal chat with this name class plugin options up at the top. Uh, auto dismount, auto remove illusion, auto stand on duck, feign, uh, burn all name, burn all ways, use alliance, raid mode, etc. Let's talk about some of these, specifically for purposes of rogue. So, uh, with my rogue, since I use it in my secondary group that's just power leveling, I keep burn I keep burn always on, so it's just always burning. Um, rogues get a lot of different stuff. I, I have no idea if this is something that you would do if you're trying to min-max your crew and uh, your rogue was like your main main dude that you keep. But I always run uh, Burn Always On. Um, I don't use Alliance. I only have one rogue. But you can use Alliance, and then if you uh, resize the window so it'll, it'll pop out the Force Alliance, you can force Alliance. And if you have your, uh, your crew using poisons, rogue poisons, 
you can trigger that rogue alliance. So um, it can be a little expensive to do that, but that's something to consider for if you want extra DPS with your rogue, you can do that force alliance and get that get that to trigger. I haven't uh, I haven't done this, so if this information that I have is incorrect, I apologize. But um, I've spoken to a few folks and read it quite a few times that you can, you know, use alliance and get it to trigger with uh, poisons on on your group members. So since I usually primarily run a melee group, that's particularly handy because if I you know wanted to spend the spend the plat and have everybody running poisons, I can turn that on and it would trigger as if there were rogues in the group. So to do that, you would need use alliance and force alliance. The force alliance means that it's not going to. Um, it's not going to care how many rogues you have uh, doing the stuff. Um, and then obviously a raid mode, uh, normal stuff, rank 2 purchase. Only click this button if you are silver and you have the rank 2 purchase from the marketplace. Uh, switch with MA. I'm actually, I'm going to switch with MA on. I'm actually going to uh, slash command that so it saves it to my I and I. Because remember the uh, the UI window, these are, these are kind of toggles, hot swaps or whatever. Um, but I want that saved. I want them to be using uh, switch with MA at all times. So if my MA changes targets, like I'm driving with my tank and I swap targets, I want the rogue to swap with me too. Um, we have use intimidate turned on. Now, um, I don't know why that mob was spinning around. Now, use intimidate, we don't have it using it at rank one anyway. Okay, so rank one is what makes it fear. Okay, and the mobs will run away and it can cause you to have not fun. So we, uh, I think in our tooltip, it actually says, yeah, if available and the rank is high enough to not fear, we'll use Intimidate to get a damage buff on your target. Now, um, at higher levels or higher ranks of Intimidation skill, it doesn't do, it doesn't actually fear them. Okay, it says uh, that are three or fewer levels higher than you with, with fear, leaving them unable to react for 10 seconds. So this actually just makes them scared in place. They're like, oh no, I'm so scared, I'm intimidated. Uh, so we want to use intimidation. Um, this is not going to fear. Some people still want it turned off for whatever reason. Um, but if you notice that it's gonna, like my rank five is going to make it so it does shadows intimidation four, which increases the damage your target takes from backstab attacks by 20% and has the potential to seize targets that are three or fewer levels higher than you with fear leaving them unable to react for 10 seconds. So it's like basically a 10, 10 second stun and they're going to take 20% more damage from our backstab. So it's it's huge. Um, use stick, same as uh, same as the other chat, uh, chat with the same class plugins. It'll use the MQ, uh, MQ2 mu move utils to use stick and you have your stick command in your um, you know MQ2 rogue underscore two name I and I thing. Uh, we're probably going to add a thing in there where you can actually uh, slash command type out what you want your stick command to be, but in the meantime, um, it just it's in the I and I if you want to change it something. Uh, use disarm. Uh, this will uh, attempt to use the disarm ability. Um, it's not as super useful, whatever. And on TLP, maybe you want to toggle it off so you don't throw the fine steel weapons on the ground. Use hide and sneak. Uh, so if you notice after combat, um, I'm automatically like hiding and sneaking and doing cool rogue stuff, uh, which is pretty sweet. So I have that kept on. Um, I'm going to skip this one because I want to talk about that specifically. And then we have Use Ligament Slice. Now, Use lig Ligament Slice is an AA. Um, and this can blind your foes and cause them to act erratically if you leave melee range. So let's look at that ability. Ligament Slice here. It blinds your target, reduces their accuracy and uh, movement speed by blah, 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 blah. blah. So um, Ligament Slice got... A merge with a bunch of other stuff. It used to be, I forget what it was called, but it was like, you know, dirt in your eyes or something. And you would throw dirt in their eyes and they'd be like, I'm blind! And they wander around and shit. Um, this can cause mobs to move out of camp or wander around and maybe aggro other stuff. So there's there's times when you don't want to use ligament slice and you can just toggle that off uh, or, you know, slash command that off to permanently keep it that way. That way you don't have to worry about doing that. Well, let's talk about um, auto corpse grab. So I'm going to... I'm gonna pause my tank here. I'm gonna go kill my tank real quick. Cause fuck them, that's why. Um, let's see. I gotta find a bunch of mobs to pull. Mm -hmm. 
boom. Going to re going to retrieve the corpse of the person who's supposed to be anonymous, but it just said he's not anonymous. And uh, but you can see here in the group window that he's dead. And I just went and automatically grabbed his ass and pulled him back to camp. Now, a couple of things with this. I have to have a path to the corpse. Okay? If I don't have a path to the corpse, I can't go and get the body. I also have to have a camp set. Because if I don't have a camp set, I don't know where the hell to return to. So if you're in Vorpal mode, he's not going to go and run and grab the corpse because he has no idea where to re return back to. Um, so... Those are typically... Uh, those are typically the things that happen. So if you notice here, it says somehow lost track of the corpse going back to get it. Um, this is specifically if something happened to where, like, the corpse is now, it's not near us and we need to go and get it because we lost it. Uh, but what happened here, this was the healer was doing a slash corpse and stole the corpse to res it. And, uh, but as you can see, we're back in, we're back in camp and, and everything's gravy. Um, let me just review the code real quick to see if there's anything else I need to, uh, I need to go over, um, uh, auto grab, is it in MQ2 Rogue or is it in our commons? It's probably inside Rogue, auto grab, corpse, auto corpse grab, alright, auto corpse grab, let's go to the function. Okay, so it says um, retrieve corpse, so we need a camp set. Um, we need uh, nothing on X target, so we don't want to be fighting stuff. And um, yeah, and then we do basically do a spawn search for uh, group members. We check to see if we have a. Um, we check to see if we have a path to them, and then if we do, we go and get them. Um, and that's if they're greater than 80 uh, units away from us. So if they're closer than 80 units away from us, we're assuming that that our healer is going to do a slash corpse. Um, so we're not going to try and drag them and end up in a weird fight situation where they're trying to drag them um, or uh, or whatnot. We're, we're expecting your healer to to grab them or whoever's doing the, the resurrection um so if we can't grab it because there's no path we ignore it so we're not going to go and get him um if we're not hiding or sneaking we're going to hide and sneak to then go get the corpse this is uh this doesn't care if you have used hide sneak on it's going to do that for the retrieval purposes and it'll go and do that um and then looking at to see if there's anything else weird in here there's nothing else really uh, really to know TLDR if you are greater than 80 uh, 80 units away and um, or the corpse is greater than 80 units away and you have a camp set uh, and you have a path to that body you're gonna go and get it I've spoken with a few folks who have had issues where they're like hey I'm not grabbing this corpse I don't know why Oftentimes it ends up being an issue with the mesh where the character died off mesh and then since it's off mesh We don't have a path to go and get it So we don't know how to get to the body and then if we did somehow get to the body We wouldn't know how to get back because again, there was no path. So um, For this to function you do need to be able to have a path available to the corpse and uh, And you'll go and get it, but that is a really awesome unique feature feature to MQ2 rogue just that automatic corpse retrieval gonna stealth up and go and grab that bad boy and bring it back to the group it's actually really useful for um, free-to-play groups because if you're in a place like over there where they have those traps all over the fucking place um, your tank may get caught in a trap and if they don't have their self cure they may end up dying and uh, this allows the rogues just gonna go run and grab the body and bring them back and get a res and then you back then you're back on your business so it's a uh, it's something that I've gotten a lot of use out of uh, for my for my PL group since I don't normally run a rogue, uh, but I really like that utility. Um, and I mean, rogues are sweet, man. They got the, they got cool stuff. But anyway, uh, the class is, uh, is pretty straightforward. I am by far not an expert in on rogues. Um, it is a melee class, so as always, I do recommend using um, uh, 
you know, get it your H, H deck set up. Uh, let's talk about a few rogue. Um, so I may not have it assigned in here. Yeah, I may not have it assigned in here because I don't normally have my rogue on this computer. All right, let's talk about this. So we want to add our poisons to be automatically uh, assigned to our to our down stuff, right? Here, rogue uh, mode zero. Should I pause off. Okay. So a mob came in group. Mob came in group. I don't want to. I don't want my rogue to fight it right now because I'm showing you guys stuff. Okay. But so we want to add a poison to our, our, our stuff so we automatically use it, okay? Now, normally, uh, we would take a look at our, like, our legs here and we would say, uh, wait, is this the one that you have to be 106 to use? Yeah, we don't want to use those. Okay, so what I'm going to do here... Okay, since I'm free to play, you can't use the 110 snowbound legs because the poison is 106, which is kind of stupid. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to manually summon a poison from my legs because I want to add the poison to the downtime clicky before I add the summon, okay? So then I'm going to go to I'm going to pick up that poison, I'm going to road add clicky downtime. Okay? So, downtime clicky is uh, consigned by to the Shizar 18. And now if I don't have uh, the buff, let's see. Yeah, okay. There we go. I figured it out. So hiding and sneaking, we can't use downtime stuff because it'll break, it'll break hide and sneak. Uh, okay. Woo! I was like, what the fuck is going on? I'm trying to demonstrate this shit and it's broken. So it's not broken. It's a user error. Um, okay, so anyway, so it's gonna automatically do that now. I want it to automatically summon if I don't have any So I'm gonna do rogue um, add clicky summon uh, Three, okay, so if I don't have any of these And actually you can see why I wanted to add uh, Add the poison first and not the summon because if I go to pick this up It's gonna auto inventory it because it's a summoned item from my clicky, which we automatically uh, um, inventory. Uh, pause on. Um, there's some other stuff where you can temporarily disable uh, auto inventorying, but just for those purposes, I'm gonna do that just real quick. And then, so, uh, that's like a 10 minute reuse. That's a scam. Oh, well, I'm not gonna wait 10 minutes, but anyway, the point being that now that I have less than three, when that buff comes back up, I'm going to summon myself another poison. So you can just keep that, uh, get that summon on. So you just always keep summoning yourself poisons and uh, then you'll be good to go. But uh, that is that. So this is ba this is MP2 Rogue. Um, rogues uh, probably need a little bit of love as far as EverQuest is concerned. Uh, they do incredible damage against humanoids and uh, they're a fun as hell class. I use this rogue for all my shiny collections because with uh, with SOS 2, uh, Shroud of Stealth 2, um, they pretty much are not able to be seen by anything. So uh, they can pretty much just perma perma farm farm shinies um, without. Uh, um, anyhow. Um, See it doing all the all the damage. That's MQ2 Rogue. I hope you guys have a great day, and uh, we'll have some more videos coming out, doing stuff, and other classes, and all that good shit coming out soon. Talk to you later.